Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010 is sponsored by Data Robotics, the makers of Drobo and Drobo S, the world's best data storage experience. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010. We're still on the show floor talking to uh, a lot of people about a lot of cool stuff. This time, we're with Peter Skinner uh, talking about Inklet, a Macworld Best of Show winner. Peter, it's good to have you on Mac Voices TV. Thanks for coming. It's great to be here. Thanks. Congratulations on the best of show. That's always exciting to have happen. Uh, we're totally honored and thankful uh, to Macworld for helping us with this. Yeah, I, I bet. So show us Inklet because uh, when you win a best of show, it's something everyone wants to know about. Well, we're very excited about Inklet because it allows you to do something you could never do before. Inklet turns the multi-touch trackpad in your MacBook into a graphics tablet, so you can draw right on your trackpad and into any drawing program like Photoshop. Or, or Scribbles, or Pixelmator, or Acorn, anything like that. Cool, can, can you give us a little test demo of it? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Okay. So we're using Photoshop CS4 here, although you can use this, with, again, with any drawing program, you can even annotate PDFs. Um, so Inklet works over top of your drawing program, um, and I'm going to launch it with a hotkey. It lives up here in the toolbar normally, and it doesn't do anything until you need it. So I'm going to launch it with a hotkey. And you can see a bright rectangle on the display. And the bright rectangle shows you where touches on your trackpad will draw on your display. I'm using a pogo sketch to draw on the trackpad, and light touches will move the cursor around. If I start to apply pressure, Inklet starts to draw. Heavier pressure will draw thicker lines. So Inklet is pressure sensitive, and it's very intuitive. So you can see that I'm limited to sort of drawing around in this area where the bright rectangle is. But I can draw in any area by just taking two fingers and moving the rectangle around. I can also change the size and shape of the rectangle with pinch gestures. I'm going to make the rectangle bigger, and now I can draw in a larger area. I'm going to keep it small because this is great for detailed work. If I ever need to change the brush size, I can just hold down the tilde key. When I hold down the tilde key, the mouse uh, is set back to its normal operation. So then I can go over and select a new color. And when I release the tilde key, I'm right back in my workspace and can draw again. That's very cool. Now, how many, you got to ask when you start talking about tablet functions, how many levels of pressure sensitivity are we talking about? We're talking about 30 to 50. We haven't measured the exact number yet, but it's a very natural feel. Okay. That's, that's, you know, that's fine. I mean, because again, this is not going to replace a real drawing tablet. It's going to be a little bit different, but for casual work, even just for fun, this is, this is wonderful. That's right. Inklet keeps your desk from being cluttered. It's very portable and it's very inexpensive. It's only software and it uses the hardware already built into your MacBook. And I do not have to use that. I can just use a finger or any, anything I want, but you obviously want to be careful not to scratch your trackpad. That's correct. You can use a finger with the latest version of Inklet. Um, you'll find that the user experience isn't as great, so we definitely recommend using a Pogo Sketch, but if you don't have one with you, it's totally great to use a finger too. And, and this, you know, once you quit out of the application, I mean, it's just what you've done in Photoshop, just like if you had done it with anything else, you've still got all the functions of the underlying program. Yeah, you're, you're using all the, the full power of Photoshop, and you're only using Inklet as, a, as a, um, a substitute for a drawing tablet, to just to get the drawing in there in a natural way for you. What, uh, what does the product go for? The product goes for $24.95. So we're very excited about this price point, and we feel that this is going to be great for education, and it's going to be great for people who are getting into drawing, and, but don't want to make the investment in a Wacom tablet and want something more portable. Yeah, I, I know a lot of artists who are just going to want to put one of those in, in their pocket or you know, somewhere, take it with them, and this turns their computer into a sketch pad. They don't have to take anything with them to do it. Yeah, so are we, and we're really excited, and we can't wait to see what the community can come up with. Uh, and we're going to try to hold some drawing contests and, and see what see what happens. Peter, I have to ask you. Just sort of casually skipped over Pogo Sketch, which is the pen you're using. Um, that is or is not part of Inklet, or that's a separate product. 
the Pogo Sketch is a separate product. It works great on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the MacBook trackpad. You can get them a, as a bundle on our website for a discount, the Sketch plus Inklet. Or you can grab the Sketch in any Apple store. Now let's talk about this for a second on an iPhone or iPod Touch. What am I going to do with it on an iPhone or iPod Touch? A lot of people are, a lot of artists are using these to draw because it keeps your finger from getting in the way of the stroke that you're making. We also have women with fingernails have a very difficult time typing on the iPhone, so it's really great for them. And there are a lot of customers in Canada because it's very cold in Canada, and unfortunately, you can't use the iPhone with your gloves on. So it's great to have a stylus that lets you answer the phone without using your nose. <laughs> Okay, so so this is the uh, I guess the stylus for the stylusless iPhone and iPod Touch. It is. We did what uh, we 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 made it happen for people who need a stylus, and um, people really love these things. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, congratulations on the best of show. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the website is the website is ten one design dot com, all spelled out ten one design dot com. Perfect. And I'll have a link in the show notes. Folks, that's it uh, from the show floor right now at Macworld 2010. Back with more soon. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010 is sponsored by Data Robotics, the makers of Drobo and Drobo S, the world's best data storage experience. Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.